how you do and what you've been up to. My name's Emma. Stick around for Halls, Bloods and Chats and we are back with a weekly vlog. We're back with a weekly vlog. I don't know what's going to be in this weekly vlog, but I do know I'm starting off with a haul. A Dunelm haul. Um, I'm not sure if when you're watching this stuff will still be... It's like 20% off loads and loads of homey stuff on Dunelm. Um, with 20% off, we are doing my boy's bedroom and also giving the utility room a lick of paint. And I have started to film my boy's bedroom yesterday and I was like, right, utility room, I need some new cleaning products. And I went on and I got some and it was 20% off and I was like, I need a new mop. I need a new recycling bin. I need all these new things. So I am going to show you what I got from Dunelm. So definitely go and check it out and see if the offer's still on. If it's not, I'm sorry, but it'll be back on again in a few months. It seemed to be like clean stuff and the odd like homey bit, I picked up a couple of frames. So let's go and check those stuff out. Um, I have to say I'm very excited that I've got a recycling bin. That's how glamorous my life is. Let's go. Okay, let's show you all of my stuff. Stephen's working from home today, so he's just moving his stuff into the living room because he doesn't want to be in shot. First thing I got, a mop. I got an Addis um, spray mop. So you can put the spray in there. You can spray the floor, and that's a mop. If you hear kind of like a, a low shh noise, it's because we've got the oven on. Just making our lunch. So I've got a spray mop. Very excited because I've had the same mop possibly 10 years. I don't know, possibly more. It's one of those ones where you can rip it off and you can put it in the um, washing machine. It was about time, guys. I've washed that thing to the point of near annihilation. Margot agrees. Okay, what else did I get? How hold on to your hats. I got a new dust and a brush. <laughs> I was like, Steve, is there anything else you can think of? And he was like, dustpan and brush. New dustpan and brush. Because, you know, after a certain amount of time, after a certain amount of years, this, the head of a brush gets to the point where there's no, there's no going back. And it's full of so much stuff. So I've got a new dustpan and brush. This was 20% off. It was a couple of pounds. And what else? To go with my mop, I treated myself to some method. I'm a bit annoyed it's got all these stickers on everything. It's a bit, it's a bit much that, isn't it? It's got stickers on everything because we did like a pickup order. This is great, my favorite all floor cleaner. Wild rhubarb, smells delicious. I'm coming to the end of one, so this will go in my utility room. I'm going to do a utility room restock. So this is one of the first products for that. I'm so excited, get it. Smells lush, it will be nice in my mop as well. You can just, you don't actually have to put it in the mop, you just spray it on the floor and then you mop. It's got like a spray bit at the top. Whoa, loaded. Okay. I got for the utility room and for the downstairs bathroom, Egyptian cotton fragrance re-diffuser. I think it was about five pound. I do really like the Yankee Candle ones, but they are about 16 pound. So I'm gonna give these a go. We'll let you know how I get on. One for the downstairs bathroom, one for the utility room, so it smells of fresh cotton. That's the scent I like for this time of year. Fresh cotton. Wait a minute, it's like washing powder. Oh, yes. Please. Thank you very much. I got some Method. We needed a new one of these in the upstairs bathroom. Some Method Daily Shower. Non-toxic surface cleaner. Passion fruit. I'm going to say it's not the most, it's not the most delightful smell of, of the method stuff, but you, when we have a shower, you literally just go spray it on and wipe it down after every shower. That's it. Spray damp surfaces, leave to work its magic for use on most sealed surfaces. It's great for the glass if you have a shower that has glass and it gets a bit um, mottled. Not sure that is the correct word, but I think you know what I mean. Okay. Now, if you've been following me for a while, 
you're gonna know the excitement that oh, please stickers do not betray me and ruin the cover of this i love mrs meyer stuff so mrs meyer if you watch like a lot of american um youtubers kind of family ones they always have Mrs. Myers, and now, now this wasn't 20% off. The method was 20% off. The Mrs. Myers stuff was not 20% off. But now, Dunelm sell Mrs. Myers. They only sell like two cents, the peony and the lime ones. So there's no like fun autumn ones or fun Christmas ones or anything like that. But the peony, it's perfect for this time of year, isn't it? So peony scent. So I got for the kitchen. See how my little smile there. I got Mrs. Myers Clean Day Multi Service Everyday Cleaner, PA, Hand Soap, PA, Washing Up Liquid, you guessed it, PA. Thrilled, thrilled, all matching, will look so cute in my kitchen, and I'll feel like I'm an American vlogger who has lots of children and who homeschools. That's what I'll feel like. Um, last little bit before I show you the pièce de résistance, and well, this possibly might be a bit too small. Unfortunately, I have had um, frames in my hall for many a year in every house. I mean, so are we talking ten plus years? Gorgeous frames. They were like glass ones. They're so pretty. But unfortunately, I hung Erin's. Um, advent calendar off one of the hooks when she pulled some out the advent calendar one of the frames went down and smashed sad times so i've just got two new similar sort of frames and we have a lot of pictures in our hall that are black so i think this should go i'll give it a go again they were in the 20 percent off so they were four pound you do the maths or let me know in the comments and the finale. So me and Stephen had actually had a conversation about. I've got us a recycling bin. So you might not know this. Every time I film a video, you can see it here. Every time I film a video, this here, this little little bit of bit here. Careful, it's got just on this little bit here is where we put our recycling. So we put our cans and then several times a day we go out to the recycling bin and separate the stuff. Here we just separate card, I can't remember, is it card and, I can't remember, we only have to, se we separate it into two. There's like a big bin bit and then there's like a little bin bit. And I was like, I am sick of having this recycling on the side. This is crazy. I'm sick of going out to the recycling bin 15 times a day. So I've got a recycling utility bin. Now what the good thing about this is, is you can, no the children will use it. <laughs> I'm already thinking, will the children use it? No they will. I can't get the sticker off. The good thing about these recycling bins is if you want more, you can get them in different coloured lids. So I got green because I figured green recycling, but you can get a red one and a blue one as well. This is going to go and we can just put the recycling in here and then at the end of the week or like twice a week go out and sort the recycling. I know some of you are going to go, why don't you have separate bins? Because the children won't use them and it'll be pointless. The children won't use them, it'll be pointless. One step at a time. Let's try with the one bin and then we can up it to a couple of bins. So I am very excited about that. I don't know what that says about me. But, whoo, the joy, what a joy. Mrs. Myers and recycling bins and Egyptian cotton fragrance reed diffusers. And they're all money off, apart from the Mrs. Myers stuff. What a happy day. So there we go. That is where we are at. The start of the weekly vlog. I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling like I'm getting organised. So, good news all around. Right, I'm going to go and peel a million stickers off a million things. Love ya. Guys, I popped back to Danelle Mill to pick up um, a duvet cover that was on sale for my girl because we're going to be doing her room in February, so I'll show you that. When I was there, 
I saw something that's going to revolution. It's going to revolutionise my life, your life, our lives, our joint lives. A folding laundry basket. So I've got my new grey one, which is upstairs, which um, the family put their washing in. But I often need a washing basket. I like to take the washing down the stairs in a washing basket. And I like to bring the drying up the stairs in a washing basket. But then this washing basket takes up so much room. I've only got a little utility room. And I've only got a little landing upstairs. And if you put this in the landing or the utility room, that's all the space. I can slide it down the side of the washing machine. I can slide it underneath in the bit in between the tumble dryer and the washing machine. I can slide it everywhere. Well, not everywhere. Most places. What a joy! What a joy, had to tell you that. And also, I have decided I'm going to get my air freshener out. What I'm gonna do is, I'll show you my kitchen as it is at the moment. Um, dream. We've got some bits on the side. I'm gonna take everything off and clean everything. I have actually got a new toaster and a new kettle come in because we've had these quite a while and so I've got a new kettle and toaster come in. I'm gonna take everything off, clean it and reassess the space and find somewhere for the air fryer to go. I am thinking possibly here. I'm gonna move these, these are left over from Christmas. Thinking maybe here, next to slow cooker. <laughs> I'm gonna use these things, guys. I'm gonna use them, but I'm gonna take everything off and just reassess the space. As I think I chatted about last year, we were gonna get an extension, got all the extension all drafted up, all done, and then we decided it was just quite a lot of money just to have a space to put an extra couch. So we're gonna use the money that we've had saved I thought this thing on my face, it's on the camera, let me just get it off. Um, we're gonna use the money that we had saved to do the bedrooms, the bathrooms. So the kitchen's gonna stay as it is at the moment, so I just wanna make everything nice. I'm gonna pull all the plants off, I'm gonna leave, give everything a clean. I'm just really excited, I might even swap some of the plant pots. The world is my oyster, Kim is my lawyer, and the world is my oyster. She's not my lawyer, I've done it wrong. So I'm gonna take it all off, clean it, and then get the art air fryer up and ready and then in a video soon I will show you um me using the air fryer also I'm going to restock uh, my kitchen under the sink and also my utility room so I have got some stuff for that from Danelm I thought these were really pretty actually look at these microfiber cloths and they've got kind of like real nice neutral um cleaning stuff but that'll be for another day, so I'm gonna put those into the sink. And also, you're gonna be like Emma. I wanna be a fancy lady, guys. It's always at the back of my head. I wanna be a fancy lady. I wanna be a fancy lady. I can't think of any other way to say it. So we have on the side of our oven, we have um, extra virgin olive oil and vegetable oil, and I have bought, for £3.50, some pretty containers to put them in. So it looks a bit neater than what it looks like. Unsure how it's gonna work. Do I need to label them? Possibly, because are we gonna forget? Actually, that's a good point. I don't know whether maybe I need to, anyway. That's what's gonna to happen today. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take everything off and give everything a good scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. I'm very excited. I've got my hoodie on. I've got my leggings on. I've got my slippers on. I'm gonna put a podcast on. I'm gonna give this kitchen a really good, a really good scrub. Just a woman taking all of her plants off the shelf to give the shelf a flipping good clean. It does get a bit grubby back here because when I water the plants, some of the soil sometimes pops over. So I'm giving that all a clean. Guys, there's a lot of butt shots in this. <laughs> We're looking back at it. There's a lot of butt shots. I do apologise, unless that's your thing, of course. So I took all the plants off and I also gave them a good kind of like trim. I got rid of any de dead bits, any dying bits, and then I spent time arranging them how I wanted to. I am going to pop to a garden centre or might just take you on a nice adventure soon to get some new plants in the house. Some didn't, unfortunately, make it through the winter and some need a bit of TLC. So that'll be definitely a little fun blog that we can do really really soon.
I then went over all the cupboards and gave them a really good clean, the front with my method, also the glass backing. I wish with all my little heart that they were white tiles, but it's not. I've even thought of buying those ones off Amazon, you know, that you can stick on, but it's fine. It's not, it's not white, it's almost like a little bit greeny. I don't know, it's strange. Anyway, I've got one of my new Denelm cloths out and gave it a good old clean down. I did this for the whole kitchen. I just, shortly after this, I lost my mind and I just was scrubbing and scrubbing everything. But it felt so nice to have a clean and go through all the cupboards and have a really good sort out. January is the perfect time of year to do this. And I think I've got one more video where I'm like organizing and sorting stuff out. I love to take you on these adventures with me because you keep me company. And that'll be the utility room coming up very soon. Emma, last time we saw you, you were in the middle of cleaning, and I was, and then I lost my tiny mind when I tell you I scrubbed this kitchen from top to bottom, I sorted through quite a few of the cupboards, um, I've left under the kitchen sink, <laughs> under the kitchen sink, um, to do, because I'm going to do a video, like, cleaning one, under the kitchen sink and the utility room, get all that all organised. I lost my mind. I cleaned every little bit of every little thing. So I'll show you. I'll show you the air fryer. We've got that out. We've used it. I feel like we've used it every night we've had it. And I'm going to use it tomorrow for the cinnamon buns as well. So let me show you that first of all. Do you think my slow cooker gets jealous next to my air fryer? <laughs> so this is the one we've got. Um, let's plug it in. Uh, which is from Costco. My mum bought it me. It is... Gormia, she says this is one of the best ones. It fits really nicely on the side. I am gonna use a slow cooker, just give me time. One day I'll just use it, you'll all be shocked. Let me know if you ever want me to do anything on here to do with their fries. I don't know if that's boring, no clue. But yeah, we have been doing stuff in. I'm gonna do, people have said the cinnamon buns. We've done some fries in it and they were phenomenal. They were almost like McDonald's fries. They were absolutely gorgeous. So I, we're definitely going to be using this. Stephen, like, loves it so, so much. So, um, yeah, thanks, Mum and Dad. And then I just had a bit of a clear out. I got these. I did put these on my Insta stories. We're still, we're still getting through Christmas chocolate. Um, I put these on my Insta stories. I wanted some storage, and I was looking for ages. I was looking on Amazon. I was looking at HomeSense. I was looking, I looked in Home Bargains. And in Dunnell, no, not Dunnell. I did look in Dunnell. I couldn't find any there either. But in B&M... For these two baskets and one big basket. So you've got a big basket with two little baskets in it. was £12. So I've bought four to organise these little bits here. These have got like spices and stuff in these. have got um, just like sweets of like Nutella. And, and then we've got some snack ones here. So the, I was really, really pleased. And then on the top up there, I've actually moved the Christmas mugs. So they're on the top, um, which has given us a little bit more space in the cupboards. This, this kitchen looks like it's got a lot of storage, but it hasn't, because that is a fridge and a freezer. And these are so shallow. Look how shallow they are. You can't fit anything in them. In the shallow, shallow. Sing a bit of Lady Gaga. So I was really pleased. Um, also show you this ties it up that made that all look nice cleaned everything got all the glasses um so i was really pleased also got out my new rug which was i think it was 29 pound from Dunnell, and it's a bit better than the other rug the other rug didn't have this has like underlay underneath underlay underneath it so it's it's actually quite soft um on your feet which is really really nice but in a couple of videos, I'm going to do the utility room. I'm going to do this and sort out all my cleaning stuff. Um, so everything's just shoved in everywhere. But I'll, I'll, that'll be like a job that I really, <laughs> I love stuff like that. I'll absolutely thrive in that video. It just looks much clearer. Much, um, got rid of little bits of paper with the bin down here. We can... We put recycling so we don't have to get the recycling out because obviously I said the recycling used to go here all the time. So it's just looking a little, 
a little bit clearer so I'm really really pleased so there we go guys a slightly it just it just feels like January every year I'm like I want to get everything clean I want everything to look nice I want everything to be sparkling and it just feels so much nicer in here now just everything just feels really nice and clean in here so I'm really pleased I kind of went through the um plants as well and trimmed those back however i am really struggling with the big massive plant at the back like you can't see it and like somebody out there did i don't know if somebody commented if this is you somebody can't i think you commented on a youtube video and then you don't miss you i can't find it the do the plant is just so going wild I, I don't know how to put it to make it go up do i put like a um a pole thing in it what they're called are they called like a moss stick? It's not that, but I know you'll know what I mean. So if you are watching this, please leave a comment. Help. Because it is... It is so... Crazy. It is just wild. So I moved it by the window so it could get sun above. So hopefully that might help it to grow up a bit. But I don't know if I need to tie it all together. I just don't know what to do. So look at it. It's just... <laughs> It is huge, it's a huge plant, and I love it, but I want to make sure it's happy, but I just don't know how to make it happy. So, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I would love it if you would subscribe and stick around. We've got some fun videos coming up. My little boy's room is being, you've seen the massive plant in the background. My little boy's room is being completely done. I'm going to do a, I've got my Valentine's jumper on today. I'm going to do like a Valentine's. Probably maybe go to like Home Sense, Home Bargains and do a little mooch around all of those. And then we're going to have the big utility and under the kitchen clean out. And also in February half term, we're going away somewhere so there will be some travel vlogs. It's not Disney. There are Disney trips coming up but it's not, not yet. So anyway, subscribe, high five if you give me a thumbs up and I will see you soon. Bye guys.